Yeah. Um, <laughs> let's uh, speak about uh, Hall of Fame, of course. Yeah, uh, uh, night. Thursday night, and Spud, well, had had, had hardwood on the back of uh, <laughs> his great mate going in as a were legend. You with, were you as a guest of Plugger? Sort of, yeah. No, just so yeah. in other words, but, no. No, no, no. I was there on the St Kilda. No, the, what what had happened was there was no. I probably no. Should have asked that question. No, in other words, no. yes and no. <laughs> I'll tell you why, guys. So it's fun. That St was Kilda a, got a table. That was not a loaded question. St Kilda got a table for Lockett because yes. he played twelve years there, yep. and Sydney got a table right because he played uh, six Look years there. Look at these there. two tools laughing at you. Anyway. Old club one. He ended up getting another him. table, and rightly so, for his family. Yeah, his beautiful yeah, wife, Vicky, and his four daughters, and uh, his beautiful mother, Liz, and Howard, and his two sisters, Carol and Diane. So, um, and who fouls from St Kilda was, yeah, the, I say it was... Yeah, was no, there? it was mainly the officials. Uh, great uh, friends, Jerry Ryan from Jayco, yes, who's yep. looked after Tony as a mentor from, from day dot, yep. and, and a couple of other uh, guys that have looked after him behind the scenes. And, uh, look, he didn't always get on with the officials, did he? Um, What's his name? What there? He post, no, he Rick, post no. Him. Well, anyway, we won't go down that road. This is more a celebration of his great career. No, and look, he was fidgety. You could see him when the speeches were getting up, and I was a couple of tables behind, uh, dagging around. Um, but you could see he was getting fidgety as the the speeches rolled on and on and on. But I, I said to Alan Richardson, who I was sitting next to, I said, "Mate, he'll nail the speech. He he speaks better than people give him credit for. Yeah. He just doesn't do it a lot." Yep, and. He is happy in his own space. He's 49 years of age. He's, uh, at the moment, riding his, I think it's a CDM, 990. Uh, it weighs motorbike. about 390 kilos, the motorbike. Jeez. And he's riding that to Alice Springs as we speak. On his own? On his own. And he's meeting three mates at Alice Springs. And they're riding through the Simpson Desert. He's never done that before. Wow. And then they'll meet at uh, Byron Bay with his family. He's probably going to sell his uh, property. He's got rid of all the greyhounds uh, at Barrel, and he'll move to the coast. So he's he's having his own space. I think it was a great peace piping uh, smoke for the AFL as well. He really thanked the AFL, and he had a couple of issues there mm. when he made his return. Uh, he had a ch- chat to Mike Shane, who was uh, you reckon I had wood. He, he had a bar suit. Man couldn't be Mike. <laughs> That's true. When, when Plugger mentioned him he in mentioned his speech. Him. Did he? Gave him a little mention. And the chief, um, the chief got a good mention. Oh, and the chief loves it. He, he did fire up for Hawthorne Games, and they had the utmost respect. I don't know whether the chief talked about it last night, but that's the only time Lockett uh, Plugger would talk to me pre-game. Are you on today? Because oh, yeah. <laughs> he wanted to make sure that uh, yeah, right. he kicked more than Dunstall yeah. and vice versa. So they had the utmost respect. And look, it was a great era, wasn't it? And he he got up, he slayed him. It's it's hard to believe that he kicked uh, twenty bags of ten twenty two times. And that 91 season, and the great Peter Hudson sat next to me. I know I'm dropping a few names here. but I, She's going to pick them up off the floor. No, no, no. That's the first time I've been to the Hall of Fame. Uh, and I was overawed by the amount of uh, guns there. But Peter Hudson was there in 91, 92. He said in 91, that's the closest uh, year of footy he's seen to perfection. Yeah. About Lockett's ability. He didn't play till round seven. Mm. After three rounds, he had 34 goals on the board. His last four games in that year, he kicked 45. Yeah. He kicked 127 goals in 17 games. So if he would have played all 23 games, he would have kicked 174. Jeez. And Hutto, you know, coming from him, who's a, a Goliath himself as a full forward, he said, don't worry, he, was, he had the package in that era, the, most, the closest thing to perfection he's seen in goal kicking, uh, ability to mark the ball, ground level, left and right foot. So to come from a guy from Peter Hudson who who looked up at Plugger as saying he he had me covered by the length of Flemington Strait was a big tick and and look it was a, it was a great night it was a, a fantastic night for St Kilda Coco Robert spoke well um, he and we're going to try and get him on at some stage Warrior uh, we are fella. We? great yeah when are you getting spun on when are you well getting he's on? out of action and I will guarantee oh, and uh, the right. Wolf Pack oh, can hold me to this yeah. pack I will guarantee. guarantee he seems to think that he'll get to Byron Bay by next Saturday. Now, if he does, he'll be on the rub where we're in the studio. He'll come on. Nice. But if he doesn't get there, he will definitely come on for a whole segment the week after. Whoa. Maybe so, two segments? Maybe two. Lock it maybe in. Maybe two. So Lock get your best. But don't do a what? Tony Jones <laughs> on me, Warrior. Because <laughs> yeah, that, warrior. that's why I, I sucked re- up. I'll listen to that. that uh, 
when TJ, he just sort of asked a question other than footy, yeah. and uh, the big fella went the, went down the wrong road. Well, so they, t- anyway, they, they do it well, uh, Hall of Fame night. Uh, you know, not only the, the inductees, but the, you know the way they package it up, and yeah. uh, you know the, the the six inductees, and then the legend, and you know the way they introduce him is really nice. Have a listen. He's humble. He doesn't like talking about himself. He is the Don Bradman of our game. I'm sorry to get emotional, but I've lost it. Thank you. <laughs> Look at <laughs> Spud. Just a chair. <laughs> He's, oh, up, he's up, but that was not. Oh, he slammed him. He's broken the earphones. <laughs> Stormed out. You know what? Honestly, the champ. Oh, he's back. The champ was that happy with his little his little six minutes of dedication, and then when you said that, he he sat up straight and thought, "Oh, I'm going to hear the speech. This will be nice." And then in he came with his own intro. <laughs> now, I'll come back. Because oh, yeah. I'm going to give a plug for St Kilda. Well, go on then. The St Kilda website. He's ruined the Look at his headset. The headphones are absolutely cattle trucked. Absolutely cattle. Um, oh, come on. I didn't know this was just going to be a whipping day for me. But well, anyway, about I'm, time. I, I, well, You've handed enough yeah. out over the journey. I'll cop it sweet. I'll you, try you and cop need it to. sweet. Yep. On the St Kilda website. The boys got me to do the speech again. Oh, uh, St. right. Oh, I see. So if you get on the St Kilda website Which now. Which is stkildafc.com.au. That's it. Yep, and no, no. you'll see the actual speech. I can't believe I only got through two lines of it. No. It was but, two pages. So I've done that on the St Kilda website. They put that out after Plugger was inducted about 11.05 p.m. Thursday two. night. So I've actually put the speech together. Oh, and uh, Force I think branded it a character floor at the time. <laughs> <laughs> he did, actually. And I know I won the award that year on the footy show. What was it? Um, it was some award I won. Yeah, it was. What was that? Uh, it was for the biggest. Uh, you branded it a character floor. Yeah, well, it probably <laughs> was. It, it probably was. But anyway. No, that it wasn't. Hey, Spud, own that, mate. That was beautiful. And I'll tell you what, guys. That the reason I sucked up was because the last time we got him on Triple M, mm. it didn't go down the way did not. I wanted it to, or Tony... So I will guarantee... Tony couldn't care. Oh, sorry, Tony Jones couldn't care. I will uh, guarantee you get your best 10 questions other than do you need to give something back to football? <laughs> Don't run with that one, Warrior. Okay. All right. Is that what that set him off last time? Yeah, he doesn't need anything. He wouldn't he, need to give anything back. Surely. He doesn't. He's already given it. He, he Look, and he will now. He's, he's happy in his own skin. And as I said, I'll guarantee... I'm sorry about these headphones. No, uh, they're, uh, they they are cattle, uh, those ones. Now, they're Ben Dixon joins us. They're expensive too, aren't they? <laughs> I think Jeez. they are pretty expensive, yep. Now, Gary, yes, Jim. we've got very discerning listeners mm. to our show. My they listen closely. They do. Of course they do. They sit in their car, they're at the work, or they're out in the shed, or wherever they are, but they listen closely. They're all over And it. they like to give us immediate feedback. Yes, indeed. And I, I, I've got some here from Warren. Mm. He's in Aspendale. Walker. Uh, just listening to the quiz, boys, and I'm amazed at Spud's recall of Plugger's goal kicking, mm. especially which years he kicked 100 for the Swans. <laughs> Let's have a listen. Went up to Sydney in 95. Yeah. I think he might have just missed out. So, uh, yep, 95. 95. Yep. Then 96. <laughs> yep. Back to back. Yep. And he played till 99, then had the comeback. So it's either 97, 98. Yes, that's it, Spud. That's it. <laughs> yep. that's look at Spud. Look at, look at him. Like Roy. Very good. Yeah, I'm happy he's impressed himself, Spud. <laughs> As Warren says here, hard to miss, Spud, when you name every year he played for the club. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's his name? Warren from Aspendale. Good point, Put your Warren. address down, mate. I've got the afternoon off. <laughs> That's not fair, Spud. No, you were all over that. I was all over yeah, it. Oh, you were all over it. If, it, if Warren, you want to replay it Come and on, podcast it. Yes, take him, Spud. I said a year and Gary said, that's right. (laughs) So I didn't have to procrastinate. How dare anyone question you on plug I'm going to use Warren's head as a speedball. That's it. Put your address down. (laughs) I've got the afternoon off. I need to let some stay warrior. I need to use someone's head as a speedball, I said. If it's not Warren, it'll be you. Don't you question listen. Spuddy over Plugger. That's, That's right. Or Lowy. Or, or, or Lowy. should know better. Went up, th- went up there in 95 and just missed out. Yes. <laughs> Good stuff, JB. <laughs> you, you, you half smart yes. ass sort of and then set up. Back um, to back and then 97. <laughs> Would you, would, didn't you promise us last week you'd get Tony Lockett on today, by yeah, the way? No, that was a promise. Still, hey, I'm not still, sure he even likes he's you. He's still on the motorbike. <laughs> I will guarantee here. I'm not sure. I reckon that friendship's yeah. one way, well, and it's not going your way. He didn't have you on the table. He'll be on. 
He wiped you. You weren't on his table? He didn't mention you. He mentioned 48 people. He didn't mention you. I'm still with this, bud, but I'm just hanging in there. Hang in there. I'm I'm not sure he likes you. Watch Warrior get wood when I get him on next week. Well, yeah, I'm with you still. And at least Plugger. I hope he's on next week. Yeah, he will be. At least Plugger put the white flag up and got rid of his top knot. You need to get. It's like it's like a big shopping centre. It used to be. Now it's a little donut stand sitting up there. Uh, Whack it off, mate. I tell you, mate. JB, it's my understanding. No Where get Warren from Aspendale? I'm drive. just reading I'm out the drive feedback. Straight down to his house, but and give him a cut lunch. It's my understanding. <laughs> I had with, with Hall of Fame. We of course can't attend because well, we're, there. we're um, doing the footy show that night. But we've obviously got people in the room. Yeah. yeah. My understanding is Bud did four or five journeys around <laughs> Plugger's no. table looking. For his no, name tag. That's not right, <laughs> Spud. flattened him right out. <laughs> Might have been there right. There was no deep <laughs> that, that was definitely right. You're on table 122. <laughs> oh, I, thought, I thought, oh, it's not next to him. It'll be over the other side, so we're going to have eye contact. Yeah. You've had nah. the panel van back up to Ballarat, the two of you, Spud. Two tables away. <laughs> oh, anyway. Uh, but, like, hey. Mate, if it gets back to Plugger, that Spud's friendship with him is being questioned by Warren. He will get on the uh, phone. Uh, not only that, he might come down and just club club. Oh, <laughs> that would mean that. That, that does scare me. Yeah, that would be my greatest moment in sport. It would be your greatest moment in life. I in think. life, plug it to come in yep. with a fist like a sledgehammer yep. And you break those little on spectacles the <laughs> and watch his nose <laughs> being spread across his face like a pancake. Because that, that famous game in, at the SCG oh, when he, when he uh, knocked out Peter Caven and yeah. then kicked seven goals in the last quarter and nearly um, poleaxed. Yeah, I delivered four or five I was, of those passes. I, was, um, I should know. I, I covered that game and when, I still recall um, Gary Colling was the, yeah, was the right. security official. I approached Gary Colling to go and speak to Plugger after the game. No. And he said, now go and do it yourself. I still recall trying to get in between the change oh, no. rooms and the bus. He didn't say a thing, but I've never been more scared yeah, without, without a no, word being was, offered. For a couple he, of days after that. I walked with still... him for about 30 metres and no, uh, I'm very scared. I think, Warrior, if it gets word gets back that you're questioning Spud. I will guarantee. But when you talk to him, say, yeah. listen, Damien Barrett oh, this... reckons that you now yeah. don't like me. You know what I'll say to him? What? That Damien Barrett's good met friends with Tony Jones. That would be enough oh. for Plugger. Actually, don't say that. to roll back. Because that's not In true. his head. I like Tony, but we're not friends. You no, think, no. You think, he doesn't get on well with TJ. Think he'll remember me. But... He will. <laughs> no, he might remember. No, he definitely will. There's no doubt. That could, he loves country boys. He doesn't like little yeah, doesn't like journalists. smart ass. Yeah, he doesn't like city journalists. smart assy little journalists right. who walk around saying, have a look at me. <laughs> Two elf browns, one on left shoulder, one on right. Oh, Saturday afternoon, we're at the Triple MCG. It's Carlton and Port Adelaide, and the sun's shining, and the box is full, <laughs> and we're ready to go. Oh. It's flying around oh. everywhere in here. So. Oh, uh. Ken Hickley's going to join us. Andy McKay's going to join us. Lots to get through on a Saturday afternoon before the bounce. <laughs> but we're excited. I'm excited. The Purple Headed Warriors here, Spud's here, and Gary, I've never seen you prepare harder for yeah, a Saturday well, afternoon. Yeah. Oh, I'm a bit flat now, but we'll talk about that later. Oh. But I was up like, oh, well, he's still up. You're up. Honest, yeah. so I know of course you are. I know what's coming. I was here at 10.30. You were. Yeah, you were. And, really. and, um, Unbelievable. Yeah. Sometimes, well, Spud, when you get here early, you do work. Yeah, now, look at it. this stuff. I've got reams yeah, and reams of here. stuff here. Questions. It's a big day. It's I've a got... massive day for me. And yeah. um, it's a massive day for Triple M and a massive yes. day for our audience. Yeah. Because of course. Yes, it's a massive spot. I've got stats. I've got more than spot. No, I've got stats. Forget the stats, bud. No, look no. at this. I've got question after question. Where is the main it. questions? Here, yeah, that's it. which I went home last night and went got, got the bed ready. at 3 o'clock. That's it. Got them ready. And it's going to be yeah. massive. It, it will is. be. Yeah. Yeah. We're waiting for it for so, so long. So what yeah. time is Plugger on so what? I can get my Hang bed? On. That's it. Hang uh, on. Because guaranteed last week. Guaranteed. No, no, no. We're ready to go He delivered it. I've got. Look. He's on this week, you said. Feature interview. Yeah, I've got. Pre, pre I've got oh, Ballarat Gary, days. I've, I've got St Kilda. Then like I went that. over here. I said, yeah. like, give me Sydney background. That's and now it. I've gone post-career. That's it. It's on. I just that's can't it. wait. And it's going to be unbelievable. We, we questioned Spud about his friendship with I didn't uh, Plugger. And you said, no. Yeah, well, said no there's no friends problem. will be on next week. week. So yeah. you two are disingenuous. I said, yeah. my man delivers on his word. I must admit, I'll put my hand up. You did. I doubted. Yeah, you did. I doubted he could get him. I doubted. So I put my hand up and say I was wrong. And Gary. More fool you. More fool me, but also, Gary. What? It, it, it says plenty about me that I'll now put my hand yeah, up yeah. and say how wrong I Fair am. Enough. Hey, the reverse. So, 
Well, well, good I'm on you, Jim. I'm not yet putting hey, my hand good up. Good on sorry, you, Jim, Spud. For I got doing it. That. But anyway, look at me. So, no, oh, you're got to, give me the first ten. All right, I need the first ten on Tugger because here they are. That's Tugger, it. Right. Back in your Ballarat days when Can you used to be Spud, oh. Dan, him and Greg. What Burns. time's Can you I on, Jim? Oh, I want the Greg Burns Spud and <laughs> Plugger story when they went to Luna Park. Yeah, that's me first. The panel van on the way. That's me first. Come on. That's it. No, no. What now, time? What time? I get a phone. Well, this is what happened. Oh, oh no! no. My hand! No. My hand's coming no. down! No! No! no. Oh, no. no. Hang on! Down. Let me finish! Come on, Spud! No, he's, oh, he's, he's coming down. No, he's winding me up. He must be winding me up. The listeners yeah. know yeah. what... He's coming on. The, the, the listeners want to know what's going on. Yeah, he's coming on. They just want to hear Plugger. I get a phone call... Second hour. I get a phone call at 10 a.m. Thursday morning. 1.30 then. The 18th of January. Yes. All right, half time. Oh. From someone <laughs> from... 18th of January. 18th of June. 18th of June. Oh, June. 18th of June. Oh, June. 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 From someone from Triple M. Yes. Right? I'm a bit flustered now. <laughs> yes. So am I. I'm ready to so go. So, the... I won't say who it was, but yes. said, look... Uh, you're getting plugger on. Yes, we've yeah. only got. Uh, you, we're on air. Well, we the game that. starts at we know quarter he's to coming two. On. He said he's coming. Quarter to two. Yeah, he's on. We'll probably have someone from Friday night. Plugger, what else have you got? Then, yep. then yes. someone says on the phone to me, "We may be getting all due respect, and this is my, me talking. All due respect, someone from Carlton." Well, I'm Someone I, from Carlton. I don't on. care if John Nichols is coming <laughs> on. That's what I said. You, mate, we get plugger and that's it. Mate, that's what I said to this person. Well, don't, I said, oh, I'm so not going on, to then. waste. So we're not waiting that. Tony Lockett's time right. and say, can you come on this right. week so, or next right. week? So we're doing so it after the game. I, no, <laughs> we're no. doing it next week. No! No! Gary! No! Get no! stuck! No! Get no! Gary, get no! stuck! No! Down, bud! Gary, well, get stuck! I've got my book here! I've got oh, my I can't believe stuff. it. <laughs> the, yeah. He doesn't oh. like you, does he? He does. <laughs> oh, no. Don't leave with your This is what the problem you is. Frosty eyed, <laughs> magnifying glass, oh, no. binocular Fine. head, telescope you're eyes, oh, you're, no. you're, you're skinny little prick. You're winding us up. Oh, oh, no, I'm not winding up. He's up today. today. You haven't, I'm not going you to. You haven't backed out on the basis I'm not that we're talking out. to Blade Blokehurst in Scotland <laughs> Carlton. Oh. I'm not backing out. What? The guy that called me Thursday oh, oh, said oh, we're oh, getting oh, someone from the guy. That big nose producer there. <laughs> big nose? Are you telling me I said that to him. big nose has pulled rank on Plugger oh, no. for oh, no. Blaine Blokers? And do you think I'm going to waste oh, no. half a day, because that's how long the code takes to get through to Plugger? You've got to ring, I won't oh. say how many times. Oh, I tell you, Jim. Seven times, and then you don't hang up, lower, and then you hang up, then lower. you ring six, and then you ring another Damn. number, and then he'll answer it. So I... Blame him because well, I said I'm not going to waste Plugger's time, and I will guarantee you, Buglehead, <laughs> that he'll be on next week. Because I said to the producer, "You said you guarantee my it time this week." <laughs> I uh, said that he said, <laughs> "Quarter Jim. two, the games on. Oh. We'll have someone from Friday night, fact, Brisbane I think and West you Coast." The week then before. we've got Jim. some as well. Flog, then we've got some flog from Carlton. So I said, <laughs> "I am not Jim. getting." Well, no, I'll, I'll take that back. We'll get someone from Carlton on. Yeah, and I thought Lockett would be one of the biggest uh, gets for Triple M since he was on well, 10 years I've ago. Well, that's why I've been up all when night. Tony, when Tony Jones Jim. Uh, well, said all to Plug it, you to give something back to the go. First. Let me say it first. <laughs> all Let me get it out of the road All right, first. go on there. I apologise to you, Jim. Yep. And, and all I'll JB. say, Gary, yeah. on the back of that, Gary, I apologize. all I'll JB. say is it gives me no pleasure to be proven correct. No, no, no JB. <laughs> it gives me no pleasure. JB. I oh, said it. I look me in the eye. Spud, I can't. On. Look me in the eye. I can't, Spud. I know I said on air <laughs> last <laughs> week that it'd be on. I and you can replay what I said. Every week <laughs> Get over oh, here! What's a I tell you what, I'm look fighting. at him. He's getting agitated. I'll use change. your head as a speedball in a minute, Warrior. And I, and once I start, I'll be like a thrashing machine. I'll be like one of those harvesters. I won't be able to stop. But you look, look agitated to me. I'm agitated <laughs> because I didn't know that no, was coming. Just across Mate. the whole spectrum. <laughs> what you do you look mean a bit you agitated. didn't know it was coming? You know when we get the biggest interview of the century hey, that I'm going to go and you, do the work. You, when we get to an ad break, now, you ask, I'll bugle beak over there. I'll the second head. quarter, I'm going to fall asleep because I've been up all night doing me plugger Mate, stuff. you go and ask Pinocchio at the ad break what he said to me. Snorkel. And I'll tell you, he said, we'll get him on next week. I said, well, I'm not going to ring Tony Lockett up. Uh, and waste his it. time and say, mate, well, you can either come me. on, 
You can either come on this Saturday or next Saturday. Um, I said, give no, me a no. spell. There's lots for us to discuss. But, <laughs> um, of course, tom- tomorrow at 12.35, Pevel, our big. man Spud this is big. has confirmed, confirmed. He's a little bit uh, nervous. Yeah, that listen, we're I don't he is confirmed. You particularly, you leave this to me right. because you have not been with him. I never um, uh, leave his side, Spud. Spud. And you are supposed to be his ally, Purple. You've jumped right off him. I'm off him. Mm. I'm Duke, dubious about this one. Duke uh, has got doubts. Uh, doubts. Chief, Chief will be with me. He but 100 to 1 chance. 12.30 <laughs> tomorrow, Yes. the interview of the year. Well, let's have a listen to the build-up from the Saturday rub last week when this all gained momentum. I get a phone call <laughs> what? at 10 a.m. Thursday morning. 1.30 right? then. From someone from Triple M. Yes. Right? I'm a bit flustered now. <laughs> Yes. So am I. I'm ready to so go. So the I won't say who it was, but yes. said, "Look, uh, Spud. you're getting plugger on. <laughs> yes, we've yeah. only got uh, you, we're on air. Well, we the game that. starts at we know court he's to coming two. On. He said he's coming. Court to two. Yeah, he's on. We'll probably have someone from Friday night. Plugger. What else have you got? Then, yep. then yes. someone says we may be getting all due respect, and this is my, me talking. All due respect, someone from Carlton. <laughs> Well, about Someone I, from Carlton. I don't on. care if John Nichols is coming <laughs> on. That's what I said. You, you, mate, we get plugger and that's it. Mate, that's what I said to this person. Well, don't, I said, oh, I'm so not going then. to waste. So we're not waiting that. Tony Lockett's time right. and say, can you come on this right. week so, or next right. week? So we're doing so it after the game. Oh, we're no. doing it next week. No! Oh, no! Gary! Oh, no! Get stuffed! Oh, no! Gary, get stuffed! Oh, no! Down, bud! Gary, I've get stuffed! I've got me here! I've got oh, me here! I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, he doesn't like you, does he? He <laughs> does. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Gary's actually been kind to me <clears throat> with the retelling of that conversation. Because I'm prepared, Spud, because this is what we do at Triple E. Yeah. I'm prepared to tell you exactly what oh, was said. All right, I'll give the full story then. I said, what are you doing, Gary? He said, I'm going home to prepare for three or four hours, and I'm up early to do some more. Uh, I said, how come? He said, because uh, uh, Plug is coming on tomorrow. <laughs> I said, Gary, Spud's a bullshitter, mate. <laughs> <laughs> no, Spud's a bullshitter. <laughs> I stood up for you, Spud. I stood up for you. <laughs> hey, what I, said. I said, Jim, I'm not having that. Gary. So seven hours I'm later, there's no chance. the eyes are hanging <laughs> out of my head. <laughs> I haven't eaten for the yes. last 12 hours. I Look at me, up. brother. <laughs> Give me seven days. Next week. <laughs> Give me. Next week. Yes. No, no. Well, me seven there we are. Give me seven days is what he said. So, Spud, 12.35 tomorrow has guaranteed he'll have Tony Lockett Duke on Triple M football. Hey, Jim, I have no faith at all that he'll deliver Plugger tomorrow. In fact, uh, I would like to put any amount of money that Plugger doesn't turn up because, <laughs> no. Uh, no, no, Gary, let me have a go. Ever since I've known Spud, which has been a long while, I played my first ever game on Spud. All you hear him talk about, oh, my mate Plugger, and I used to drive him down to Ballarat, and we're great friends. I've never heard Plugger mention his name. I've never heard Plugger actually acknowledge him at any form, at any time. And this is the greatest myth that I'll ever... The only time that I've ever seen them in the same room was when Spud embarrassed himself horribly. He cried. Uh, I think uh, this thing sounded a bit like this. He's humble. He doesn't like talking about himself. He is the Don Bradman of our game. I'm sorry to get emotional, but I've lost it. Thank you. <laughs> now, now that what you what you no, that's a low blow. What you yeah. overlook with that is plug in the background, embarrassed, going, yeah. "Oh, mate, I don't want to have anything to do no with this." Chat. Yep. So he won't deliver tomorrow. Foss branded it a character flaw. Yeah, he did. <laughs> it was an ordinary effort. And he'll let himself down again tomorrow, Chief. Jeez. I wasn't a part of the conversation no. that unfolded. But what I can tell you, having worked with Spud for a considerable period of time, is this. I know one thing about Spud. What? When he promises, he delivers. Exactly. And the fact, and he the promised fact, last week, no, though, Chief. And the fact that you people are questioning his integrity Not me. Not me. cuts to yeah, the core. Apart I, from I, Gaz, I definitely the rest am. of you, Duke, I Warrior yeah, and Jim yeah. should be ashamed of yourself. No, I'm not ashamed of yourself. This is a man of integrity, <laughs> and you're a, taking him down without the right of reply. He's got a good track record of it, Chief. And I hope he what launches integrity. on the lot of you tomorrow. <laughs> i tell you what, last night there was a flurry of <laughs> uh, text messaging oh, between myself and old... Um, what's he call you, Linguini yeah, Arms? And I won't say what he called you, Warrior. Uh, no, no. And, uh, oh, boy, hell, is he in a fr- he's, got he's, got out. he's ferocious. Is he putting any disclaimers out there no, before? No, it's happening. Yeah, it's happening. he is, actually. It's happening. He is. Pluggers on the road in, apparently, far north Queensland, and there's a worry that 
the reception might be so he's already, out. already <laughs> giving himself a final. Yeah. Yeah. He will wor- produce. Are you just, starting to worry already, Chief? Or not? He will produce to underline how much travel Plugger's going yep. to. And the other thing he said was that he Plugger himself is looking for. In fact, I should read this out. Yeah, go on. He's looking. You talk amongst yourselves while yeah. I find this. Well, this <laughs> is this is all on a text exchange. As Spud's texts take up your whole iPhone five, the new one, the real big bastard. You showed the me one whole before. Page. It was eight paragraphs. <laughs> Exactly and, uh, and what one word was spelled correctly. Yeah. <laughs> You're going down a dangerous path, you blokes. You're all going to have egg on your faces tomorrow. We got writing instructions as to what we yeah, can and, and can't, can't ask and say or uh, ask. And, yeah. In fact, we, you, Purple, you and I were banned from the whole interview yeah. at one stage. Well, he said, what he did say, there's a couple of things. You go no, no go zones, fair enough. And one other stipulation, uh, Wolf da, to do most questions as he does not know Darren Barrett or Julian Brayshaw. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you guys have to make coffee while plug is on. Uh, white, no sugar, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, Which is one of his funnier ones. 12.35 tomorrow, with, with the whole nation awaits. So the, he's promised a time, he's promised tomorrow, So, because you know what, I'm about to go on, on leave for a while, I'll hold back and make sure. I don't care where tomorrow. you are in this uh, fair interview. country or He'll world, deliver. All right. He'll deliver. is tomorrow at 12.35, <laughs> I will put any reputation I have on the line <laughs> and pull over the car. In fact, I believe, it's not confirmed, but I, I believe the other broadcasters are thinking of just pulling up at 12.35 no and taking a direct feed. <laughs> live feed. Yeah, just plug into feed. Like What's an all-inner. Yeah, like saying... Like a presidential announcement. We at the over 55s concede. Here is Tony Lockett. Yep. And just running yeah, that's it. it. That's it's, what it's I'm being believing. being branded the interview. That's it. Yep. Hash, hashtag... And, Hashtag. And Gary, you know that there's no man with less humility than myself in, <laughs> oh. in, in these situations. Oh, oh, so wow. normally, if I had any confidence, I would have the greatest uh, trumpet out and be blasting it from well, the rooftop. But I haven't get and it I out, won't get it because out, I don't Jim. trust this man to deliver. Get it out and tune it up because I am telling you. Tomorrow it is on the you, interview. We have a contingency for twelve thirty-five as our leader yes. on Saturdays. Let me tell you what Greg the contingency Blue. will be. Greg Blue. If, if, <laughs> if, if Plugger doesn't come on tomorrow, the next ten minutes he will cop. This is Spud, the greatest verbal strafing of any man ever in the history of this medium. Won't be needed. He's so, copped a few in the last. No, well, couple don't of weeks worry. Already. Stand by. That's just a warm up. No, won't be needed. That, that, that's not even the reserves. That's the under nineteens compared to what he'll cop tomorrow. If Plugger's not on at twelve thirty-five, Chief, he'll deliver and. And then he will more than likely stack the three of you in the corner <laughs> after a furious <laughs> session of clipping, oh, just, leaving Gaz, yeah, those, just leaving Gaz, just leaving Gaz to actually uh, carry the rest uh, of the show. That's right. These two uh, nipsies uh, may be pounded into submission. Oh, Jake's not there yet. No. Hey, Jake. Purple. What we're also so that's what'll happen with Spud. But what you've also you don't need any convincing of this. But seeing again is the duplicitous nature of the wolf. <laughs> what? How he can have a foot on either side You're of joking. any setup and be able to work an angle no, one way uh, or the there other. There is no greater double agent. Not in the history of mankind than the, yeah, the Not wolf. when it comes to Spud. If you, we are tight. If you go back and listen to last Saturday, the whole discussion about whether Plugger was coming on was started well, and instigated he, by the wolf that's because who I, drove every dagger he had in his quiver He's the greatest spud. numbers man you've ever seen. I'll tell, tell you what I did here listening to the, um, the, the recording of that conversation. Mm. There were a lot of Get Stuffs Gary. What was all that about? Yeah. No, he That's... was flustered, the champ. Oh, he, he, meant, he, he meant James. For a he? moment there, he didn't know who was with him and who uh, was against him. Uh, yeah. But it's he, an issue around you. He quickly, <laughs> yeah. it's he a quick, common issue. Around he quickly <laughs> realised that I was right behind him. Um, Teddy will, I tell you, they're coming in the pack. They've put their lives on hold. Uh, that, well, of course uh, they have. He's, um, I'm not, this wouldn't be Teddy because he's a Perth boy. But someone yeah. says I've called my coach at the Cobden Seconds and That's pulled it. out uh, tomorrow. Uh, so make sure I'm <laughs> available. Twelve thirty-five. You can have a listen at twelve thirty-five. Uh, Triple MCG's the venue Saturday afternoon And oh, I tell you what bring it, on. it is the Hawks It's Essendon Trent Cotchin's going to join us yeah. shortly All of that's relevant But this is all about one thing and one thing only oh, my man. I call him Plugger or Tone uh, or Spuds Mr Lockett Got him Ooh. He's guaranteed that we're going to have him at 12.35. Well, the whole football uh, world is on a knife's edge I'm on a knife's edge I don't yeah. know what to call the great man I'm, uh... <laughs> Look, it's Bud. I'm nervous. His body no, language seriously. doesn't exude that confidence no, no, that I want you from wouldn't, him. You wouldn't be able to ram a knit needle up my backside <laughs> with, a, with a jackhammer. I'm that nervous uh, that the sheriff's badge closed up. <laughs> and, uh, but I you've gotta, guaranteed gotta, he's on. 
I've got a pain in the gut. So how are you nervous? I'm nervous. But how though? Dry in the mouth. Well, but it's just, you know, it's never over till it's over. And I've put me plums on the line and, and Gary's given me one week's grace. Yeah, I'm with you though. And, don't, uh, don't not for a second did I jump off. Pencil neck uh, and we're half an hour. Night. We're half an hour from... Uh, well, 33 the... minutes and uh, 35 Look seconds. We've got a countdown clock in front of us. <laughs> time yeah, until the... plugger. Time until <laughs> plugger. That's <laughs> there, Spud. It's, uh, <laughs> it's like the countdown of the grand final, to be brutally honest. Bigger than that. No, it is bigger than that. And... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Look, I've got some news to break to oh, a couple of guys in the room. Spud, well, right. just hang on with your news, no, all right? Because sure? I'm going to uh, we, we're building up. This is the build up yeah, this week? The build up it's might be as good for the, a couple. The back end of the week, Spud. <laughs> the back end of the week has been all about how big this interview is going to be. Have a listen right. to some of the anticipation. G'day, it's Danny Green here. I didn't just come back to Melbourne to announce my comeback. I also came back for the interview. Don't stuff it up, Spud. G'day, it's Joey Montagna here. Spud, any danger, mate. All we do at training is hear you bang on about plugger this, plugger that. I try and listen, still no plugger. Come on, mate, get your act together. G'day, this is Scotty Cam. The interview promises to be bigger than any Renault Rumble. Well, sort of. I can't wait. G'day, Warner here. My all-time favourite Saints full forward with my all-time favourite Saints full back. I've waited long enough for this. Bring on the interview. It's Teddy Wheeler here, leader of the Wolfpack. But you've got to make this interview happen. On behalf of the Wolfpack, we're all sitting by the radio ready to listen. Come on, Spuddy boy. Don't let us down. Hi, this is Ed Mully Meldrum. Come on, Danny. You're the one that says you're a friend of Plugger. If anyone can get a talk, we'll tell you like that you can do it. If you can't do this, you're not only letting the team down, you're letting yourself down. And you never let St Kilda down, or well, maybe a couple of times. Spud, Stewie Lowe here. I'm going to be waiting today by the radio, intently listening for you and the big fella, Plugger. But I have uh, grave concerns about you actually being able to get him uh, on air. But uh, good luck, pal. Hi, this is Tony Jones from Channel 9. Uh, I'm actually in the dentist chair at the moment, just getting the chompers, a little bit of a cut and polish. So all drills have been turned off, the gas has been turned down, and we're just hanging out for this Plugger interview on demo. Don't be muzzled, mate. Go your hardest. Hi, Teddy Maguire. Saturday is going to be another big day of football, but the biggest thing that will happen will be the interview, and I can't wait. Oh, I thought oh, it's funny. Oh, what about boy. some of those Have names? a listen to that roll call. It was Lowy. 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 Lowy was there. Yeah. Malta, yeah. and then the great Shane Keith. Edward was, just rubber stamping yeah. it, dubbing it hashtag the mm-hmm. interview. Yeah. The interview. Oh, well, look, they're all good except for Teddy Wheeler. Like, seriously. Oh, well, they're representing I know, I know he's representing, representing the Wolfpack. 80,000 strong Wolfpack. We probably went from Group 1 status to Stony <laughs> Creek, mate. No, no, hey, I know, don't don't turn on the packs, bud, because they are who make us number one, yeah. and they're out. They, they put off. I had a, a text. I'm looking at the Twitter feed. Yes. Put his wedding off. Yeah. The man's put his wedding yep. off. Oh, Grab me phone there, boy. Um, I've got to break some news. I've got to get this, this off one? my chest. Yeah, uh, the other one. It's better, the other not, one. better not be what I think it no, is. No, well, I got a phone call. Um, <laughs> is this true? No, hand on heart, hand on your three daughters' lives before you say this. And my beautiful what? mother and my beautiful wife, Anita. So what are you I, saying? Hand on heart. Well, all I'm saying is <laughs> I, I had a bit of a sick feeling we got about uh, 8.24 this mm. morning. No caller ID. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now, don't, don't. Be, and it was the big fella on the phone. Oh, and, no, oh, no, no. He rang you this morning. He rang me this, this morning. This hand on heart. This is hand on heart. Mm-hmm. Right on. There was a couple of stipulations. Oh, uh, he's put a few he's, riders on. No, not not riders. Mm. He, all he yeah, said. No now he's is a man of few income? words. Is so this fair income. This is a hundred percent hand on heart. Right. My three daughters, beautiful right. Chelsea's okay, back from America. No, no, I won't say it again. Mm. She'll be listening at twelve thirty as well. Yes, get on with it, but he <laughs> only wants. Gary Lyon and myself to do the interview. Oh! <laughs> and that, is that true? That is 100% true. 100, 102% warrior. I love it. So, that look, is funny, I don't know whether I I'll get it. you to do the intro maybe. Spud. Or just read through your CV maybe. Yeah. Let JB do that. Yeah. Hand on my own heart. If I was to get Viv Richards, Dennis Lilly, and both of them, I wouldn't let you ask yeah. a question either. <laughs> so, Spud, it's all yours. Yeah. I'm just delighted no, he's on Gary. our radio station. No, Gary's there as well. Just so don't give me stuff a it up, you two. Former, former teammate. Yeah, former yeah. teammate and yeah. former teammate of yours. The yeah. great day, EJ Witten. I'm sure you'll oh, talk he about that. three or four down his motorboat. Yeah, he did. He, kicked, uh, <laughs> yep. he got the EJ Witten medal that he day. He did. So oh, well. So pressure what are we going to do to you? Pressure builds on you, though, Spud. Yeah.
Because you better have some decent questions. <laughs> <laughs> Normally you come in with one, <laughs> but then purple and I save your ass. <laughs> so what are you going to do now? I've got a couple. Oh, he's, got, he's got one bit of paper. I've got two questions. A two paper photo. It says Luna Park. No, it's got... <laughs> It's got his passion about uh, motorbike riding oh, on, and um, the AFL Hall of Fame, HOF. They're the two questions I've got. Mate, got I'm, I'm not that loaded. So. You, better Gaz, dust, you better dust Gaz, off your homework from last week. Yeah. Gaz, I'm in this lifeboat. You're in it with me, mate. And I'm throwing some water out of the moment. But I'll tell you what, the water level of this lifeboat at the moment. Yeah, listen, I can't mate. empty enough water I, out of this. I, You've got to give me a hand, mate. I, I find it it's, it's lapping over the top. <laughs> I find it very funny that these two have been excluded from the interview. But you know that means you've got the intro. It's <laughs> <laughs> one of those real sharp gym specials. Can you do the intro? Oh, no, no, come it's on. On. no, it's either in or out. Oh. What happened last time you had to introduce him? <laughs> no, like yeah, took yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> the bloody St Kilda website put that on this morning. Come on, have some respect down there. You know, listen, you're listen, better than that, Tommy This is actually if he takes the phone call too. This we haven't it. got him on yet. He'll yeah. take it. But oh, look, I must admit, this is my problem. Not a problem. I'm, I'm delighted and, and <laughs> rightfully so. It's just you and me, right? Yes. And I'd go to war with you. Yes. Yeah. But you have lost your shit when it comes to fire. <laughs> <laughs> and you haven't been able to talk. That's true. At some but, stage. He so. sent me off my axis early this morning when I got the phone call because I knew. I thought, oh, no. Well, we just have a listen to the last time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't bring that crap up. He's humble. He doesn't like talking about himself. He is the Don Bradman of our game. I'm sorry to get emotional, but I've lost it. Thank you. Oh, oh, but, but it's it's still funny after all these years. <laughs> now listen, I you're, laugh more yes, now than I did the roll with that one, Spud, on yeah. one out. <laughs> no, you won't be one out. But I tell you what, the tide's coming in pretty quick in this lifeboat. But I, the bucket's not big enough at the moment. I can't keep the water out. Oh, you're going to have to be your sharpest, guys. Oh, oh, yeah, yes. Look, we'll have I'm to have a word. I'm going to have to think. take 10 minutes off. I'm going to have to get his seat. I didn't know I'm going to be one out while well, you're blubbering yeah, in the corner. I didn't know I'd be ready to see that. I'm going to have to get the AFL year back. I can see this ending up. Daniel Kirst on. No, it won't. Gaz just on his own. No, he won't be. Fireside no, won't. chat. Oh, jeez. Spud blubbering. No, I get stuff. Oh. Oh, no, come on. I love it, Spud. Yeah, well, I, this I, is extra pressure that you brought on yourself. Yeah, well, I, I, I brought on myself. <laughs> You pricks on the rush hour, everywhere I've gone down the street, I'm looking forward to the end of the <laughs> Seriously. Now I know how bloody Brad Pitt feels. Oh. Walking around the streets, getting recognised everywhere. It's not fun, I tell you. Everywhere I've gone, I've gone listen, for a coffee. Oh, listen, to the end of the listen, straighten up. If you've got more than those two. Uh, He's got the Lunar Park story, guys. Work, you've got, you've 20, got 20 minutes. minutes to come up with more than the Lunar Park story, all right? Oh. I've got a couple in my repertoire. Oh. But if you start bloody balling like a baby. Oh, no, oh, you can no. get that. Uh, oh. He did buy some... Greg Burns bought 48 dozen eggs. Well, don't shoot your best oh, up now. now. No, don't shoot it now. 48 dozen or, or 48, 48. eggs? <laughs> or four dozen? Four, 48. He 48 had, dozen. He's got, the, he's got the milk bar in Snake Valley. <laughs> It is. It's called Reptile Gulch Motors, and uh, underneath it's got snakes alive pulling to the drive. Spark. It's 10 mile the other side of Ballarat. you got Lowy, you got uh, Warney, oh, you got Molly Melbourne, um, Ed. Joey, Ed, Ed uh, Molly, Teddy, uh, Scotty Cairn. Scotty Cairn. <laughs> all listening, Spud. Chompers. Um, Danny the Green Man. Will man Anderson just man. tweeted. Oh, well, of course Will he Anderson. Oh, oh, he's I'm, he I'm loves a, the rub. Now, you're his man. I'm under too much pressure oh. now. No, you're not. You eat I've been able to find... Oh, no. <laughs> for breakfast, but I, I've got, I've got to have a drink of water. <laughs> Jim, what are you going? I got to. Oh well, just you sit can back make a coffee, enjoy. Wire. Smoke the pipe. White, we'll one, yeah. white well, without Jim, any I'll sugar, mate. Jim, we'll Jim, be like it? everyone else in Australia. Yeah. We'll be listening That's in. True. Can you do me a favour? Just have a couple. You can slip. Over. <laughs> <laughs> just have a couple of questions. You can slip. To Actually, that's what you can do, Wyatt. For the next, for the next twenty minutes, write a couple of questions down. <laughs> Give them to Gary. <laughs> Give them to me. <laughs> for God's sake. No, nah, seriously, I'm under pressure. Oh. Look at Spud. Uh, oh. Have a look at Come on. him. Cool. Oh. There's a cucumber. Now listen. This is where yeah. I, I, I've known you longer than these two blokes. 
Oh, I know, under pressure, yeah. this is where you when thrive. When the siren goes, mate, That's it. and the umpire throws the ball up, yeah. she's on. Game on. She's and on. you've got your, your you tray might, there. You might be a little bit rattled early, right. yeah, a little bit I, nervous. I'll tell you how I feel, Purple. Mm. It, it, it's like you're playing against the West Indies and you've just been told you're the 12th man. You're looking at the wow. two opening batsmen. <laughs> that is All true. the best. That is, that is, I, I, I'm, I'm up the other end. At least I don't have to face the first rock. Uh, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just yeah. sit back there and go, buddy, oh, head down. Yeah. Get in behind us. Hey, right. Yenchi, Matty Yench, I'm locked and loaded Yenchi. for the biggest interview <laughs> since Lance Armstrong on Oprah. Oh, big oh, Come on, Yenchi. So one of the other pack members bigger than Caitlyn Jenner. Oh, Spud. <laughs> they Ooh. all are ready. Now, Who's Caitlyn Jenner, okay. by the way? Well, oh, I'll tell you that. Don't you worry person. about that right now. Yeah, oh, is, that the, is that the girl that'll throw the yeah, shut up, Right up. Actually, you can shut up. Jim, right. come on, and you can shut up. I can't up, shut up, Gary. It's, I know, it's impossible for you to shut up. <laughs> I'll practice this intro. I don't like doing that because you're the leader of the no, radio team. On. But sometimes you've got to take a back seat. I am taking and, a back seat. And uh, this is very much like the Ashes Tour. Yes. Uh, 13th man for Jim <laughs> yep. and uh, Warrior, who we're not sure how he made the squad. Fieldsman. <laughs> He's sort of there as... <laughs> Emergency know, fielder. Yeah, that's come it. Come on. So anyway, well, uh, to be, let's straighten up. To be all serious, uh, in all seriousness... Uh, Tony Lockett was inducted into the AFL Hall of Fame as a legend in recent times. He's a famous, uh, he's famously reticent to do uh, media, and in fact, I can't remember the last time he has. Because probably... I've got to do the intro. Hang what? on, hang on. <laughs> we, I'm, I'm leading into you. <laughs> oh, Spud. that's all right then. Boxhead. I thought you were going to go through your CV. No. Sorry. We put it on <laughs> our man Spud yes. to uh, get us an interview, probably only one It'll happen for the year, and he said... Probably like, never again. Last week would happen, and it didn't. And there were doubters everywhere. Yep. So, Spud, this week, 12.35, which is now, we've got hundreds of thousands of people listening. You've got your intro ready to go. Yep. Rosie's in the studio. Yeah, on, Rosie. Dial the number, hose, and here we go. Get ready, Spud. <coughs> Tony Lockett. Come on, Spud. Barrel. <coughs> and... <coughs> Come on, Spud. Spud. Hang on. Oh, oh, Spud! What the hell that. is that? Hang on. Spud! Rose. <laughs> Rosemary. Spud! Hey! What the hell is that? There's obviously a breakdown in communication again, somewhere. Spud! They've got the direct line, haven't they? Look at you! Spud! What is that? Spud! Gaz? No. Can no. we try again? No. Yes. I think we could. I Rose, think. you just do it again. There no, must no. have been... Look, like, could you hear... I heard Spud. something. No, he was oh. there. He's he waiting is. for the voice. He's ring- well, at least it's ringing. That's a positive. Get your thing ready, Spud. Spud, your intro. Get it ready. Yeah. <laughs> the barrel line can be... Here we go. Plug it. Tony. <laughs> oh, oh, Spud! Spud! Far out. <laughs> Spud, oh. what is this? This is the time. 12.35, you guaranteed he'd be on oh. Triple M. I said this had happened. Oh, no, you, I said you this had happened. Ass. It's Can you text him? Spud? Don't you laugh. No, he doesn't take text. Oh. <laughs> what do I do? Oh, Spud, we've built this whole week I think I'm around him being on today. Nah, listen. <laughs> I'm going to oh, in the mouth. No. Oh. Go out, please. Now, don't ring. Spud, I don't ring give from you your phone. too many instructions. Take your headsets off. Spud, yep. Get out there and go and find out right. where Tony Lockett Spud. is. I'll have to. This is the credibility go of now. our station. Out. <laughs> Spud. Look at him. This is, listen. Gary. This is going to happen. I said this I would happen. I know you did, but he's out there. That you, look at him. <laughs> he has gone out. <laughs> He is there. I've spoken to him this morning. Not Tony. I've spoken to Spud, who's yes. spoken to Tony. Well, where is he? Well, there's something going on. Oh, of course no, there is. I'm, hey, I promise Purple, you this will happen. I did we or did we not say this you and is I did. what was going to happen? You and I did. It no, was no, a train wreck on no. the way to happening. Listen, it's going to happen. No, worry about what he got in the news world. Oh, oh, just oh why? God, you can't just brush over the fact that he's not here. He can't just go. What news oh, have Let's do got? news. Yeah. What the hell's yeah. that? We were going to do news, but now we haven't got plugger. Let's do what news. What news have you I do have news, Warrior. but I'm not sure I want to do Warrior. it. Warrior. Uh, Seeing I wasn't going to be allowed to What's interview going on plugger in the anyway. World, yeah. Please yeah. 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 Sorry, I, I actually uh, checked out. My man is back. He's in a bad area. Oh, yes. <laughs> what time? Get one me, o'clock. One o'clock. Well, I'm area. telling you. One one o'clock. Did you get him on the phone just then? Yes. Yep. 
Oh, so we couldn't get him on the station. <laughs> no, but you could get him he on was your in a bad area. Bad area, Spud. Uh, he Jim. couldn't hear. Bad you heard area. him walking around. Oh, yeah, you could hear it. One oh, o'clock. That's it. One o'clock. I'm, I'm feeling confident. Uh, it's going to happen if confident. you can't get him. Look one me o'clock. in the eye. Give me the one o'clock level. Is this one o'clock? Uh, one o'clock, look. Gary. Oh, He'll be on the big oh, And Did you ask if Jim and I could be part of it? No, he won't be a part of it. You, you just go time. and make me a white copy. Purple, this is the second time he's promised to have Actually, him. I don't and think the you second guys, time he hasn't come on. The promise was 12.35. No, no, exactly. You guys, I don't think you should be even in the room, Gary. No. Joe well, we might need and, to. We've got uh, nothing to talk about now. Yeah. We need to do news. Well, we might keep him in the room. <laughs> have, you, have you got any news? So, Purple, We've got some news. What, what now we're being asked to do is drag Spud yeah. out of... A hole no, that you've no, I'm not in a hole. By you, letting us it down was just again. a bad line. Not, a bad not for the line. first time. Not for the first time, Spud. So I'll tell you what, I'm dishevelled. I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to pick papers yeah. up or put them look down. Him. I'll take it. Listen, oh, no. listen, champ. Just compose right. yourself. He can't. Tell just the pack to hang in there too. Let me, I don't he, want to, I'm a bit scared. Look, all the radio guys are looking I through know, the window as well. We've got Robbo, we've got Mike Sheen. Get out of here. we on at one. Piss off. You're on Twitter, aren't you? Yep. Don't, well, go don't, go yeah. <laughs> don't go on Don't go on now. <laughs> don't go on now. Don't go on now. Don't go on now. You reckon it'll flatten me? Yeah. It'll flatten you. Right. So just at one o'clock, is that when we're on? It's yeah. only 15 minutes. But why can't he do it now? Because yeah. he's not in a good area, Damo. Not in a good area. Well, you can answer his phone to yeah, tell us, but he can't yes, do it. Yes, but you can't for radio <laughs> quality. That not that good. That's it. Oh. He's at netball, one o'clock. Oh, It'll can, be on. Can you believe it? You, you doubt me, don't you, Mario? Oh, well, yes. I, on exposed form, Spud, we've got every right to. It's the second time you said you'd have him. I, I must admit, if, if, I was a, if I was a racehorse, there'd be a few duck eggs next to me, know, there, at the moment. What odds? Ian Actually, Gass, why don't we get Crambed involved? Ian Gass reckons he's screening your calls, <laughs> Get, well, um, I I'm wouldn't not mind. Not sure. Get, I did ask you last week. I'm not sure he actually likes you. That's, <laughs> no, that's, what about, that's um, the other thing. Why don't we get Ben Dixon on for crown bet? He did it last so night. what odds? Well, he did, did it last it. night. And he, he, dollar 10 to not come on. And you're drifting. <laughs> what, what odds were, were <laughs> we? Dollar 10 to not happen. <laughs> to not happen. <laughs> to not happen. <laughs> 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 ben that's Dixon exactly said that. Said. Yes. And so far he's collecting. Well, we might have a phone call, actually. Not, not well, I don't no. think I don't think so. Not the man, but uh, the, the, this has what captured is, the nation. This, oh, no. this, this non-interview. I don't know. Has, Lowy? has captured the I nation. I don't know who this is, but <laughs> and we've yeah, got it's... a phone call now. No, we don't need a no, phone no, call. No, no, I'm telling you now, we've got one now. Who we got on the phone here? You've got Matt from Achuca. What's going on, Matty from Achuca? Right, we've got 29 blokes standing still like a deer in headlights, <laughs> waiting for this bloody interview. <laughs> What, you should be playing a game of footy, Matt? Is that what you're saying? Hey, we're all at bloody work. <laughs> right, just wait another, wait another 16 the minutes, Matty. The diggers are off. We've all stopped. We've all been talking about it for the last two days. Hey, well, Matt. Well, mate, just wait another 16 minutes. Matty, just go and have a coffee. Go and grab yourself a pie, sausage chair, roll. And uh, just the Bobcats can wait for another yeah. 15 Matty minutes. Matty from Achuca and not 29 of his mates. Well, actually, someone else from uh, who was on the work site on the Twitter spot as well had said they've just put the, put the trucks in park <laughs> and uh, we're waiting for you. You've <laughs> let a no, nation down. No, just tell them to hang in. Mario, what's going on in the world of news? Well, let's... <laughs> <laughs> Come on. The Triple M listeners... Uh, very, very faithful. But I'll hang in there. So it's on, it's on next. No, it's on at one o'clock. You're well, testing the faith. We want you to come up with some news. Shane Waters wants everyone, Shane Walters rather, who's a member of the pack, wants yeah. everyone in traffic to start tooting when Plugger answers the phone. Okay. <laughs> so start That'll banging happen. your horn when the interview yeah. comes on. For Might Holden. be next week, but it'll come on. For it'll Holden, come on. let's go there. This is the Saturday rub. It's an extraordinary situation. We're all sort of deflated. Oh. Yeah, you know, we were there and, we're and excited. No, no, and I'm still up. I'm still and up. And then it was like a pin went into no, the balloon, and You're all the confident. gas went out. And just, no, I'm <laughs> confident. Well, Spud, yeah. you're the only one. Oh, I'm, else I'm with you. Huh? I'm with you. Still with me, just I reckon. Just, just hanging no. by a thread, guys. Just. Right. Hang in there, mate. We have four, not many yep, minutes let's left. Let's go. Not many minutes Here we left. Go. Next, we got an Emsport update now, but next. Plugger. Interview. On our station, yeah. well, according to Spud. Well, you rack off, JV. This is, well, Spud, get out, if this yep. is a third strike, uh, uh, you're out. Yep. No, I won't be out. Let me promise what, you What, out? Yep, out. Prom- no. If, it's, if there's a third strike, out. Let me promise this. <laughs> if it's a third strike, I'm out. You are I'm as well. off you oh, and out. I'm out, Spud. Spud. So you, this Give is your last spell. roll of the dice. I'm, I'm with you. you I'm with you now. Hey, mate. I'm with you. Gaz, Gaz I'm, I'm like that Monty Python film at the moment. Yes. No arms, no legs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. But I'll bite someone's kneecap off. I'll come back. I'll I, I be think back. you should, though, let Danny do it 
No, well, even I though you're allowed in on the interview, Gaz, unlike myself. Don't tip into that trap, Gaz. I'm going to let, let him do the majority. No, right. no, no Wayne, let him do it all. No, no, in fact, no. come with me and Jim. We're going to go and get a coffee. Gary. Gary, I'm handing over to you. Good. Stand aside because this is really about um, the greatest footballer of the modern era, maybe the greatest footballer of all time, who has got a unique relationship with you, Spud, and they've played many, many years under uh, with each other, and, and Plugger has played under you. So. On this occasion, it's not something you do often, but we're going to hand it over to you to introduce the great man. Well, guys, sometimes in life you have to face your own demons. And obviously when Plugger was inducted at the St Kilda Hall of Fame. Yep. Um, you went with a line. I went with a line that, uh, and I couldn't quite get it you out because know. of our friendship and the memories yeah. uh, that we emotional. had there. So this guy is the Don Bradman of the <laughs> AFL football. There's no doubting that. He was born in Ballarat, guys. Yep. Uh, he played the North Ballarat Roosters, which he's very proud. He... Played 281 games, kicked 1,360 goals at 71%. That's when there was no Eddie Ad, no Waverley. We, we, we Muddy Grounds. Waverley, Moorabbin, Witten Oval, yep. Windy Hill, you name it. Just go through a little bit of his CV. I know he'd be embarrassed well, not for not too much because he yet. mightn't stay on the phone for too long. Played state games uh, with you guys. Uh, six, an EJ Witten medal, the, the great day in 95. Brown, only full forward ever winner, Brownlow. The AFLPA, 87. Four-time Coleman medalist. Five-time All-Australian. Two-time St Kilda BNF. Uh, 127 goals in 17 games in, in 91. Uh, best and fairest at St Kilda. Australian Football Hall of Fame. Sydney Team of the Century. St Kilda Team of the Century. And two weeks ago, Gaz, yep. was inducted as a legend of the Hall of Fame. I welcome Plugger. How are you going, big fella? <laughs> How are you going, Spud? <laughs> going well, mate. How'd you go after uh, after the after the night with your family? You got on the... Uh, the KTM and, and went for about a 10 day hike across Alice Springs to Byron. Yeah, I was actually out of there pretty quick. I was up early the next day. I actually was, we had a bit of a late one there with, with, with Cal and Dunks. We ended up having a few <laughs> Sherbys there, as you do. And uh, yeah, I was on the bike early the next morning. I uh, ended up riding up uh, well, just south of Alice Springs. I was there on Saturday night. and we took off from there, and uh, yeah, we made our way across to Byron Bay, and uh, yeah, about seven and a half thousand k's we did in about nine days. So yeah, it was a good ride, mate. We're getting the plan on the next one already. And uh, it wasn't sort of just by sheer chance that you pulled up with a Ute with a big KTM motorbike on it at Crown <laughs> before the big night. Well, it made the thing is when I pulled up out the front, there was nowhere to park the the, the big van. They wouldn't let me. I couldn't get downstairs, mate. She was too high. And, uh, so she, she got pride of place right out the front, I think, where James Packer parks. <laughs> and that's yeah, the way, James, I've got to put the van in here, I said. <laughs> and that's fair enough, too. What about what about the night, mate? You must have been wrapped with have your family there and your, your mother and father, your sisters, and more importantly, your beautiful wife and your four daughters. Mate, it was great, yeah. The, um, well, the youngest two, they'd never sort of, uh, well, they'd never been anything like that, and the, and the oldest two will. They were only, uh, only youngsters when I was still playing, so yeah, it was good. It was great to have them all there. Fantastic. I don't think, I don't think the bride's actually been to a function since the Brownlow in 1987, so <laughs> she hadn't been for a while either, mate. So it was good to drag her along there. She enjoyed it. And, uh, of course, the oldies, mum and dad, two sisters, and that, they were there. They had a, I mean, everyone had a great night. It was um, very special, Spud. It was really good. Hey, Plugger, great to talk to you. Um, I've never seen Spud more nervous, mate, about um, a single interview in his whole burgeoning media career. He's like a cat on a hot tin roof. Ah, that's all right, mate. We go back a long way, uh, Moon Spud, and, we, you know, we've had some great times. We've played a lot of footy together. There's a lot of great memories there and been good buddies all the way through. He's a bit flat you didn't mention him in the speech <laughs> at the Hall of Fame. He uh, still has a go over that. Uh, mate, I'll tell you that, look. Like, for, for a week or two, I was thinking about what I was going to say, and, you know, you go up there with the best intentions, and, mate, it just, nothing come out how it was meant to, I don't think. I, I forgot everything I was meant to say and said things I probably shouldn't have and what have you, but really, at the end of the day, like, I, I'm, I, I know I mentioned some of the great fullbacks that I did play against, but, you know, in the light of day, mate, there's no doubt uh, if you ask Jason or you ask Gary Ablett or... These other fellas that played on Spud, that they will tell you that he was up there with the very best of them. And um, well, I think I only ever seen uh, Spud get a hiding on one occasion, like a bad one. I think it was BT early on in Spud's <laughs> career at the MCG. Am I right, Spud? No, you're right, mate. He kicked um, he kicked three in the first half, and Steve Perry, you remember Steve was good mate. I do, yeah, yeah. BT and Steve said, look, BT's a little bit uh, timid. 
Next time he goes to the ball, give him one behind the ear roll. So he marked the ball, kicked the goal, then he decided to strangle me. So uh, he, he kicks but that, that, that could have been like, uh, what, 80... 84 80, it was, mate. 84, yeah. yeah and no. that's, that is the only time I've ever seen, uh, like, um, you know, a game like that where Spud probably, um, you know, what you call a bit of a hiding, I guess, yeah, you know I, what I mean? I wimped but, it, mate. I wimped it. I no, 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 but... Uh, other than that, mate, I mean, I stood up the other end on plenty of occasions, mate, and um, you uh, acquitted yourself very admi- admirably, Spud. Hey, Plugger, like Spud was telling me that um, you, you were a man of few words, but you always knew you are in the corner. But when it came to a Hawthorne game, <laughs> you were always interested in what was happening up the other end with our good mate Piggy Dunstall, and you'd wander over to him before the game and say, are you on today, Spud? Are you on? You're ready to go? <laughs> yes, is that right? <laughs> Mate, look, you know, uh, it was it was a great um, many years. Like uh, you know, going up against against Bungal, it was you know, it was just a, a great rivalry. I mean, there's no animosity between us. We're you know, we're mates. Uh, but you know, I think we kicked each other along year after year. It was one of them things. And I don't know about him, but I know I was always keen to see how many uh, that he'd kick. You know, on on the Saturday or whenever. I always had, he was he was a long way in front of me there for a while, so I was always trying to keep in touch with it a bit. But yeah, look, you know, when we played Hawthorn, I'd, I'd always be saying to Spud, mate, hey, you've got to have a big one today, mate, keep him quiet, you know. <laughs> and you know what he did, mate? He did. Yeah, and uh, if you ask Jason, uh, I'm sure Jason would tell you that, um, you know, he was um, a great competitor. Yeah, you're on the farm, mate. Spud tells me you run a few head of cattle. I'm thinking of going into the yeah. uh, cattle business. What, what, what can you tell me about it? Keep out of it, mate. No, nah. <laughs> nah, mate. No, nah, it's uh, at the moment. If you're selling cattle, you, you'd be doing very well. But if you're trying to buy, mate, nah, you got no hope. You know, the prices are moving very good, but she's too up and down for me, mate. You're a bit of black Angus. What are you running up there? Yeah, run a few Angus, run a few Her- Hereford Cross, mate. Anything that eats grass, mate, that can, <laughs> can get fat. You know. Have you ever had much rain up there, player? We've, we've had plenty, spot, Yep, yeah, we've had heaps. Uh, I reckon the 15 years of winter is probably the wettest winter we've had, so um, it should, if we get the right weather, it obviously set us up real good for spring. It um, should be a cracky year. The price should stay good for a while now, I'd say. Now, I saw a picture plug of your, your beautiful wife and your four gorgeous girls there uh, when you were here in Melbourne a couple of weeks ago. I'm not sure I'd be the brave boyfriend if I wandered home with uh, <laughs> one of your young girls. How's that go? Well, look, at this stage, I mean, I don't want to speak too soon, but I'm a bit lucky probably at this stage that only one of them Seems to have acquired the company of a, of a male friend, which for some reason uh, they do just keep a little bit of distance. But, um, so, mate, how did he go uh, knocking on the door the first time? Was he well, he's, he's only, I think he's only been there only once, or when I've been there anyway. But uh, they park out the end of the road, I've noticed a bit. And they, when they see the car coming, they, they do a bit of a scramble, I think. So, but you know what? Hey, I just got to remember back and think what you're doing at that age, mate. And I think I oh, just keep driving. For yeah, Christ's sake. Yeah, we won't go down that road, mate. Are <laughs> hey, you watch much footy, plugger, or not? Not a great deal. I'm actually up at the netball, uh, the state age team. Look, my third daughter, Steph, she's playing in those days. I've had a couple of, couple of games already this morning, won a couple of games, so she's going pretty good. Uh, yeah, a little bit different than sitting at the MCG, mate. I'll give you the tip, but anyway. Yeah, no, I understand where you're coming from. Um, just if... if of the modern day player, I know you're saying you're not seeing a lot of it. Is there anyone that you would sit down with a beer and just grab Paul Kelly and say, we don't mind having a look at this bloke go around? Mate, if you're going to sit down with a beer with Paul Kelly, you want to have about 30 of them to fill him up. Like. <laughs> uh, but look, mate, I think I said on the night, I, like, there was a, you know, a couple of years there when Geelong were, were just incredible. You know, when young Gary Ablett and there was Jimmy Bartel, uh, Moons, uh, Stevie Johnson, mate, I love watching Stevie Johnson. Yep. That team was incredible to watch. You know, just I think it was I don't know, oh five, oh six, oh seven or something about then. Yep. They were fantastic, mate. I, and like I used to watch them all the time, and um, they were they were a great side to watch. You know, they were great midfielders. But yeah, look, I got a I got a liking for Stevie Johnson, mate. I just think he's a bit loose and he's, he's good. You know. <laughs> Plug it around. What what about the art of goal kicking? There's, there was no, as I said, there's no greater goal kicking yourself at at seventy percent. Do you think that part of the game's improved or, or maybe the players spend a bit too much time looking at the computer and having a meeting and instead of getting out there and doing what they're paid to do? Yeah, look, I, I've got my theories on it. Like, whenever I do watch footy, I, like, it is... I don't want to sound... You know, like, I'm, what I'm saying is they do, they do seem to miss 
goals that they should be kicking. Is that a fair comment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and what, mate, basically, I think, really what I think it gets down to is a lot of these blokes, are just they're just thinking of, they've got too many things going on inside their head instead of thinking about actually what they're doing. They're actually, I've seen them counting steps, I've seen them, you know, just doing all these different things when it really shouldn't be rocket science, mate. It should be just the natural kicking at you. There's no perfect kicking action. Everyone's different. Um, and, and, mate, it's, you know, like, I just think they think there's got too much going on inside their heads, mate. I think they're overtrained with it, you know? How would you go under the lid, uh, Plugger? I mean, you, as Spud said in the opening, you're at Moorabbin, you're knee-deep in muck, you're going out to Windy Hill where it's blowing a gale. These blokes are in a, in a ground with a roof on it. Yeah, mate, they don't even get any mud on their knees these days, do they? Like, <laughs> mate, it was, hey, and Spud will tell you, some of them days back at Moorabbin, mate, it, won't, it wasn't just... It wasn't just wet, Spud, was it? No, we, we were uh, groundsmen there for a while, mate. We were told to water the bloody thing, weren't we? <laughs> yeah, I think uh, they did have a bit of trouble with the irrigation system there for sure, yeah, mate. Hey, uh, Plugger, as an, as an opposition team going and rabbing, that, wasn't their le- that was the least of our concerns. It was yeah. Burns, Cunningham, Cunningham, <laughs> Lockett, Dun- Frawley. wasn't a great uh, place. It was a pretty wild bunch, wasn't it, really? But, um, <laughs> Hey, mate. mate it, was, it was great fun, mate. A lot of great memories. Great fun. Well, we, we've had great fun today, mate. We've had a lot of fun with Spud yep. um, uh, suggesting he's going to get you on. But it is a privilege to be able to talk to you tonight. And this mate of yours is doing marvellous things uh, in the footy media. And he's back at the Saints. And he's uh, yep, having a big he's impact. Terrific, mate. Good to hear, mate. And, uh, yeah, thanks very much for, for the invite to come on, mate. And all the best. And uh, we'll catch up soon. Uh, we'll catch you for a beer, mate. We'll get the big piggy Dunstall and uh, we'll get Gaz down. We'll have a we'll have a can of lunch when you're down next time, champ. Thanks for coming That'd be on. That'd great. Good on you. Well done, fellas. Uh, there it is. Uh, I'm telling you, Tony Lockett, who has had his kids netball, he's put that aside for one reason only. Spud, I think you're within your rights to have... Um, a right of reply. Um, you, you, you look a little bit emotional at the moment. Uh, what, what, what can you say? Um, let me just have a think. <laughs> Cop that, Maria! <laughs> <laughs> Cop that, JB, you skinny little <laughs> <laughs> oh, This is the greatest day of my life. Other than my beautiful wife, Amina, and the birth of my three daughters, Chelsea, Danielle and Kelly. That's right up there. As Paul Roos said in 2005, here it is! <laughs> Here it is, Warrior, you skinny bag of pus! You skinny, wormy, linguini darm, prick JB! You oh, had oh, doubts! Gaz! I never doubted you, champ! I never doubted you, mate! We played snake footy together! We what an interview! What an interview! What an stuff, man! And that's what friendship's all about! That's it, buddy! I'm right behind you, champ! Plugger was watching his girl's netball! He'd rather stick pins in his eyes to get in! Other media would network on top to anyone. But he did it. You know he did it for? Me! <laughs> Bloody well me! I was like Steve Bradbury. I <laughs> would drop it off the surface. Teddy Willie, you had down your little prick. <laughs> Teddy Willie, the wolf pack. I can hear you. He's up and about now. I can hear the buddy. tweets. I can hear you. Spud. Spud. Get on the tweets now, you Take it, hey, take it rest, mate. Got a nice oh. head of steam up. Uh, oh. Jim, now what I'm going to do, the Jeff. Alf Brown, the oh. uh, media before oh. of the year, oh. is put okay. the dead. Now, Come down. Spuddy's won it. You've got oh, it down. I'm going to come up geez. with a competition now. That, that was goes. very good, Spud. That Spud. bar is set very high. Oh. Mate, let me, so before Rums. you go this, let's just take a deep breath. I am. He was fantastic. That was there. very good, mate. Brilliant, Spud. No, he was. He, he was. And that yep. is due to you. He wouldn't be like that with anyone else. But Ted. he was fantastic. So, well done in all seriousness. Well done, mate. Now, nice. Uh, well done. Now, and just on that, Warrior, um, the doubts are now out that we're, we're mates. <laughs> you got an apology, you two? Can I have an apology from you? Yeah, I will say sorry. Joe B. Nothing from me. So. <laughs> well, you, twice no. you missed, so no, I'm giving you nothing. Nothing, nothing from you means I've done okay. So I'll take yeah. I'm, I'm, what, very I'm very good, Spud. Very but good. But what I'm going to do, Joe Very good. Yes. I'm right off the bat, yep. about once every two weeks, yep. I want you, Warrior, yep. you, Gaz. No, nah, not you at the moment. I'm with you. Yeah, you. Yeah, JB what and Warrior. Get out of no, no. It. I'm with he has to do it. What are saying? What are you about to say? He He's got to do it. No, no, not yet, though. No. JB and Warrior over the next month. <laughs> you getting out so of it? every two weeks, yeah. we've got to get someone on, and I've, I know I've raised the bar and set the bar. Oh, like, so, so take Plugger and try and raise it. Is that what you're saying? Well, it's it's you might have to dig up Elvis Presley to beat <laughs> it. <laughs> but 
JB? Nothing from me, Spud. And <laughs> Warrior? Warrior? And no I Jeff like. Poulter's or... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we want, we want some, he gets a drive by <laughs> Jeff Poulter. We want some real, you know, not Johnny Ralphs <laughs> or these guys. We've got to get high media guys, you know. Oh, no. well, what's his name? Letterman? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Letterman oh, over yeah. there in America. Jay like Leno. It. Yeah, Leno. Get him on our show. Oh, I'll tell you what. You know what you, know you feel oh, like? Spud. You've put, come off the state game against South Australia, you, you, guys. You've, you've kept Kern ahead and none. I've kicked the lazy five. I thought I was yeah. And now you can go oh, and relax You know what you want to do now? You just want to grab a frothy yeah. and fact, just Spud, knock the top off. You and off I can head off. You two just do your best. Actually, I might, We've delivered I might, today. I might knock the top off a couple of things, actually. <laughs> Poor old Jeff oh, Poulter. <laughs> <laughs> you just listened to the interview of the Century and got the drop. <laughs> Sorry, the Jeff. Oh, now. The brand, the look, pack have turned. Have a look at yeah, Spud. Yeah. It's, like, it's like bowling over Al McPherson and then That's just it. back and going, <laughs> yeah. oh. How good is this? Look at him. It, it gets no better. Who's next? Yeah, well, I'll tell you what. Uh, my beautiful wife uh, texts me and my daughter Chelsea, who's back from USA. So, you know, you feel like you're walking on air. You, you, just know, you know, when you, hit, you, you know, don't hit the ground, your feet don't feedback, hit the ground. The feedback that I'm getting on the wolf from the wolf pack, you don't have to say another word, mate. Chester, get around him. Give him the Alf Brown Now interview of the year. Well, that, that's And that's consistent. Dude. Thousands are coming through. Well, I want the producer to... Uh, Get that and just give it to Paddy Keane. Uh, I know Paddy's all <laughs> Paddy over. Paddy liked but, it. And look, I, I don't say that. I, I do say it tongue in cheek, but Triple M don't get much uh, effort in those media awards. Oh, but I reckon. Cares, but no, I do. <laughs> I, I think that. I, uh, I think the stuff. way that Lockett talked, the big fella talked about golf. It's the most overrated goes. crap of all time media but, awards. Um, no, the favourite, the favourite, <laughs> the clear <laughs> favourite question coming through, Spud, was um, this from Benny Mitchell. You nailed yes. it, especially. Get my train up there, player. Oh, I got no, the was same a text. That's a winner. A mate of mine said yeah. hard hitting spot. Yeah. <laughs> get hey. any rain up there. Well, that's what plug it. That's hey. the sorts of quest. That's why you two weren't involved. Uh, and that's, that's why, why, I that's why I he was like comfortable. It. It's only country boys can yeah, bring up that sort of exactly stuff. Exactly right. Cattle and prices, he was I interested in. Angus, you were all over all over there. Yeah, and it. you knew the, uh, the beef prices doubled the last 12 months. My word, I did. Talking about smoking the cigar, the big fellas made... A little bit of money up there with Andrew Pridham, uh, Share Farms, and Paul oh, Kelly as well. Secrets, no, I won't. But anyway, won't. Yeah, <laughs> no, he won't. Didn't but want you as a competitor in that space either, guys. No, I'm pretty, stay out of it. Well, <laughs> if I'm perfectly honest, I'm not sure he knew who I was. No, 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 no. No.